All set, I can get us started. Sounds good to me. Is he gone again? Nope. Just setting my thing to yeah. voice activity. God damn it, he's gone me. again. Anyway. <laughs> we all set? I'm set. Okay. We open up on a scene filmed by a Dutch angle. It's a, what looks to be a young teen's room. There's a woman sobbing on the bed. That's what the audience would see. And then we sort of fade to black. And we open up on Cryptic uh, at his computer. He's doing various hacking or whatever you what is, whatever it is you do on your free time. Browse Reddit, let's just say. And you get an email from one... Uh, Allison Craig telling her that she has a potential job for you. If you have any other associates that may help, you can meet her. You can meet her at a local coffee shop to discuss further details. Is there anything you wish to do in this time? Uh, not really. Just make sure to uh, pack up anything that I'm going to need for this. Mm -hmm. You take your essentials, your uh, your yeah. workstation, PDA, all that fun stuff? All, all the important hacking utilities that I would need for all right. any, this particular kind of job. All right. I'm assuming you're taking the unassuming van, right? <clears throat> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The totally unassuming man that is Brandon Anthony's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and you take your so-called pizza van. We sort of follow it with a tracking shot to this local um, coffee shop. It's like a star. It's like a generic Starbucks. It's like your legally distinct Starbucks. Mm-hmm. So, you you see her at the table outside drinking a coffee. She looks like she hasn't slept, and that there's like visible bags, and uh, she's just a mess. She looks like a crack whore. Midday. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think it's that bad. It it just looks like someone who hasn't slept or hasn't. Taking very good care of themselves. Anything you wish to accomplish in this period? I'll just scope around to see if anybody's watching her. No, it's fairly em Seems like a fairly empty street. Very busy. It's like a Sunday afternoon. People are in church. Seems to be the only one currently attending said cafe. All right, I'll walk up to her. All right. She gives you... She starts uh, breathing a sigh of relief, and it's like, I've got a potential job for you. I need you to help me find someone. What you got? Uh, my daughter, she's been missing for s several days, and I was hoping you could help me track her down i'm sorry to hear that but yeah i'll uh i'll do what i can all right i'll pay you quite well you'll be fairly compensated for your services i like the sound of that mm -hmm. okay. she gives you the necessary information about her daughter she's a straight a student never got in trouble capped out of the chess club that sort of thing your typical, you know, by the book student who does everything she can to accomplish and, you know, pass the next grade. Stop. She had she had been meeting friends regularly at least once a week. She never told her what for. She assumed it was a study group. But then that group of kids went missing and all the parents are worried and they need 
some way of finding them. Ah, the whole group of them are gone. Hmm. Well, gather up any other associates you need. I will fairly compensate them too. And we'll, uh. I figure you probably want to start at the high school, don't you? Yeah, that'd probably be a good place to start. Alright. So you, she gives you all the information she knows and, you know, goes through all the various, you know, payment agreements. She gives you a little bit up front. It's like uh, 500 bucks. Alright. She said you'll get the rest when you find my daughter. Of course. I'll do what I can. Okay. So, that whole exchange is finished with, um, I'm assuming you're probably going to fetch your associate. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to call you Callie for the time being. I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest of that. Calistria? Calistria, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to call you Callie for the time being. You see Anthony's pizza van roll up in front of your humble abode. Oh, I was going to say, he goes to pick me up. And as he starts driving away, I poke my head up from behind the seat going, what's going on? Oh, you didn't even leave the van. <laughs> Nope, just fucking fell, just got tired, fell asleep in the back of the van. <laughs> Why so are cryptic. we... As you're driving up to her place, your associate pops out from behind you in your van, asking what the hell is going on. Really? Really? What? That's the oh, third oh, time this month. Ah. <sighs> You know, your place is so much closer to where all the really cool shit goes down. And I stay out too late sometimes. And it's closer. And, and I mean, I, I don't think you're... Other... At, least it was, at least it was just a van. Yes, I mean, it's not like I was sleeping in your closet or anything, man. Jeez. Well, you know, yeah. most, most nerdy guys would... would uh, would be uh, happy to 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 have some hot uh, lady in their van at any given time. Jeez, this is true, but except when they're trying to live in your van rent free, when they oh, own their own place with a working bathroom, mind you. I just needed this. Oh, look, we're at my house. Great, I'll change and shower. Uh, you can come in if you want. Jeez. Oh, okay, fine. I'm assuming the uh, getting prepared bit for you, Kelly, is taken care of. I'm assuming it takes longer than it should be because... No, I think at this point she would be fairly used to the routine. She would, uh, she would uh, shower and, uh, and, and body spray and, and deodorant and lots of makeup to make her look at least human or at least alive, not so pale, mm -hmm. um, or not as pale, I should say. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right, the yeah. whole time she's uh, taking care of herself and prep, and I'm punching it into the uh, computer, building a little dossier, and starting to uh, mm -hmm. seek out any information that I can find off the top of my head. All right, I'm going to need you to uh, roll some investigation. Yeah. Investigate. Okay, any, uh, feel free to add any uh, power tags that you feel necessary that can help you achieve this goal. You know, some fictional positioning, if you will. Uh, I say I would assume I would use the tech guy ability. All right, that'll give you a plus one. I don't know how do I mark to, All right. to roll. Go up to the out. top of your sheet. Yeah, I see the investigate. Do I just click that? Or... Yeah. If you're going to use a tag, go up to where it says total power. And the positive status, add a 1 to that. That'll give you a plus 1 to your roll. Okay, then just hit investigate. Yep. God damn it. 4. My roll's already. You don't have a general idea of where to start. You're like, it's a high school teenager 
she probably has some social media. Then you find out she has all of the social media, and none of it seems to be helpful to you. Well, whatever's happened to her, she's not posting about it, or... Well, duh, she, why the fuck would she post about that it if she was getting it? You, you hear from the kitchen, that usually means they're dead. Well, let's hope not, because if they're dead, we may not get as much money. That would be most unfortunate. Exactly. Would you like some coffee and pizza? It's 11 in the morning. I'm, I'm good on the pizza, but I will take some coffee. Okay. I mean, you live above a pizza place. Yeah, I know, and I'm tired of fucking pizza. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm undead. I don't need to eat or drink, but God damn it, I love coffee and pizza, and I will fucking eat it as long as I can. So I make pizza for myself, mm -hmm. and I, I make a nice fresh pot of coffee, and I divvy up. I have these nice big massive ass mugs, and I pour half a pot of coffee into one, half a pot of coffee into another. I walk out, and I put a mug down in front of them. I'm pretty sure you guys can take that to go. You have a... Oh, yeah, I'll put it in my little uh, travel mug. Mm -hmm. I imagine you guys even have a coffee maker inside the van. Probably, but I would say it's on the fritz. Yeah, yeah you just haven't gotten around to fixing it. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. one of those uh, Keurigs that's just, it's been used so much at this point, you have to smack the shit out of it to get it to brew a cup of coffee, and it mm -hmm. doesn't always get it hot. Yeah, it's a steak all coffee. It's never, it's never quite there. Yeah. All it gets right. the job done, though. While cryptic, is, while cryptic is investigating, is there anything, Callie, that you would like to accomplish in this time besides um, get yourself all dolled up? I, I would like to uh, go over my weapons, make sure there doesn't appear to be any physical hmm. problems with them. Uh, if I spot anything, maybe if he has a moment, I would pass him over to. Uh, Mm -hmm. Leon and ask if he could do a quick diagnostics check on the software bits mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, I, I'll say for the time being, your weapons are in fairly good shape. You haven't exactly been around here in a couple of days, and everything's sort of where you left it now for like a thin layer of like dust, which probably needs cleaning. I doubt you'll get around so to like, it, but sure. So like he's, uh, uh, doing his bit, then I'm field stripping my weapons and cleaning mm -hmm. them and making sure they're functional. All right. Over the course of his investigation, where he turns up not really much of anything besides the fact that he's been going through this high school student's social media is trying to find any indication of what she's been doing. I mean, you get. Over the course of, I'd say, a couple hours, you find uh, a repeating pattern where she is checking into this uh, coffee shop that is a little bit away, it's out of town. Like, it's on the edge of... Like, it's on the edge of the uh, merchant district. I think I might have found a spot to start. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, coffee shop uh, on the edge of town. Uh, she seems to be uh, checking in quite often, so mm -hmm. it might not be a bad spot to begin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So imagine relaying all this information. You guys sort of pack your stuff up, get into the not so unassuming van and head off to your location. I uh, I quickly dump another pot of coffee into a thermos and cap it up nice and tight mm -hmm. and uh, gear up and throw my uh, full length duster coat on over top of it. Mm -hmm. um, aside from like a, si a small sidearm or something that mm -hmm. I would keep tucked at the small of my back. I would uh, stow the weapon in the hidden in the mm -hmm. hidden compartment in the uh, in the van. Okay. 
you guys have everything sort of kitted out and you start making your way to your uh, local coffee shop lead. You're on the edge of the uh, merchant district, so it's you're in the more hipster part of town at this point. You're getting a lot of you're seeing a lot of man buns, a lot of flannel. All right, I look over at Liana and I go, all these poofsters, I swear to God. <sighs> right, where are we going? Mm-hmm. You pull up to this place. It's uh, it's called the uh, the Crackpot. Real not real bad naming conventions for this place. It's not the best uh, name for a cracked pot or crack pot. The, the cracked pot. It's got a okay. symbol of a coffee pot with a crack in it on the okay. front of the soul. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I heard right that you were saying cracked pot, not a mm-hmm. crack pot. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you, how do you want to approach your investigation for this area? You guys want to... <clears throat> oh, sorry, I was trying to talk and my voice cut out. <clears throat> I would uh, probably park the van about a, well, about half a block away and uh, hop into the mm-hmm. back and start using my tech to uh, try if mm-hmm. I can see through any kind of security cameras and everything that we can find. Mm-hmm. Just to uh, get a lay of the land, anything that's around, what's going on, see if we can mm-hmm. see anything in the back, and just pretty much yeah. anything going on inside that coffee shop. Mm-hmm. All right, so you get in the back, sort of take that weird desk chair that you've got. Not the best thing, it's like an Ikea chair. You've got all your stuff set up, sort of going through the various cameras in the area. I'm going to need you to roll investigate, and let's do uh I can. I would like to. Uh, while he's doing that, I'd like to. Uh, I'm assuming he showed me a picture or several pictures of this individual and mm-hmm. the other individuals that went missing. Yeah, I probably would have had yeah. that up on the uh, dossier page. I'm probably another monitor somewhere that's pretty much yeah. just a static picture in the back of the van. Okay. I would like to, while he's doing his bit, mm-hmm. uh, do do my alert check thing. Um, just mm-hmm. to keep an eye out to see if I see any of these individuals uh, turn up. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure. I click roll. You'll do investigate and let me look at your character sheet real quick. See if any tags that'll help you with this roll. Investigate. Uh, track. Do alert. You'll do alert and probably in- roll your investigate move. Investigate move. Yeah, you see the moves up at the top. Hit investigate okay. with your alert checked. And... Woo! All right. You don't see anyone who sticks out uh, very much who rec- who matches the dossier that he has up. What you do recognize, though, is a rather brutish-looking gentleman. A very um. He's got, like, shaved sides of the head. Definitely got a fade going on. Some weird, like, thing going on at the top of his hair. Some some ridiculous hairstyle. Looks looks too overly fucking dramatic. He's got some neck tattoos on the sides of his head. On the sides of is his he, neck. Is he in an area that I could snap a f- picture of him? Uh, yeah, he's sort of... You've, you've noticed him sort of coming by a few times near this block. Like okay, he's, he's come f- by far too many times and to be just be walking. I, I snap the... a quick picture mm-hmm. of him and I hand the my, my little device back to uh, uh, Leon and I go, hey, uh, see if you can pull up anything on this guy. He's, he's And I explain that he's gone by way too many times. Mm-hmm. Uh, just uh, call it a hunch. All right. I'd plug the device in, connect it right to my system, upload the file, look him, and All right. uh, probably just scan his face. All right, that'll give you a plus one to your investigate roll. And anything else you would like to add? Okay. Uh, not that I can think of. Okay. Um, 
from what you can tell with the surveillance cameras, you could definitely tell that this guy has been coming around here at least three or four times. He looks to have been like walking around the block, taking a like a long trip around and then coming back around. Trying to make it seem like he's and he's been doing a different pattern each time to make it look like he hasn't been, you know, stalking this area for any people. You do get a name from that face. Uh, Stanislaw. I will put it in chat for you. S-T-A-N-I-S-L-A-W. All right. Um, mm -hmm. I... You get this... From what you can tell with this rap sheet, it's pretty long. Uh, human trafficking, smuggling, uh, robbery, <laughs> murder. <laughs> <laughs> you name it, it's probably on there. It'll take you a good few hours to go through his entire rap sheet. You're wondering how the hell he's even out of fucking prison. I, uh... I ask, uh, uh, Leon, um... What do you suppose the odds are that this individual is connected with our missing persons? Hmm. Definitely pretty high. Mm -hmm. I go, right, uh, watch my back. I'll be back. Uh, I right. wait until this individual walks mm -hmm. off around the corner. Yeah. And then I pull up a image of this, this, this girl um, mm -hmm. who we were hired to find specifically on my mm -hmm. phone. And judging about the time that I know he should be coming back around, Mm -hmm. I would act like I've been walking around. I go, excuse me, have you seen the? Ha have you seen my little sister? And showing them the the image of this 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 uh, young woman. Um, there you go. Excuse me, have you seen have you seen this this young woman, my my or my little sister, to these random individuals on the street? And then as he comes up, I'll go. I I would like to uh, ask him. Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother you. Have you seen this young woman? She's my 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 little sister, and she we haven't mm -hmm. seen her in a few days, and we're really worried. Yeah, he's like I have not seen said woman around here very very frequently. Um, she may have come by around the coffee shop with some friends over there. He sort of points off to the cracked pot. Like they were kind of interesting people. A very moody vibe I got from them. Very off. Normally, everyone around here is very uh, laid back and quite relaxed. They were kind of just like all dour and had this uh, a depressed vibe with them. It was very bad for the whole atmosphere, if you get what I mean. But okay. um... if you need any more leads, here's my card. I mean, um, he hands you a card that says is Stanislaw. Um, on the back it says meat butcher and owner of a laundromat okay um i uh i would like to uh as as he walks away uh mm -hmm. i would like to um stealthily try to slip a small little tracking device you know mm -hmm. on his clothing you know in his pocket or something like that just kind of be like eh flipping flipping mm -hmm. slide it in there and i right. knew what you were going to do and i would have con contacted you through the headset that we're probably wearing to talk to each other and say yeah. i can probably just put a trace on his phone so don't try and get anything that might get you caught oh okay <coughs> i take that back oh hold on to that i need to see if i can actually hack into his phone and try um and i will give you a plus one for your i can get into any system tag uh, would my assist? Would I be able to assist him via me while I, he's just standing there talking to me? So he's essentially in a fixed area, not moving around, so he's easier to target. Sure, I'll give you a plus one for that. Having him distracted. Okay, so that would bring me to a plus two. Yep. Yes. Oh, by the way, you can instead of input in, you don't have to input all of them manually. For your tags, you can just hit roll. You can just cl click the roll checkbox, and that'll adjust it. Just letting you know for further rolls. I'll also give you 
I'll also give you a plus one because you're using your ride's uh, surveillance equipment. So that's a plus three? Yup. Because <laughs> you put yourself in a better fictional position. And I'm going to have you roll... Uh, take a risk. All right. For you, this is something you've done um, very often. It's yeah. like uh, it's like instinct for you almost. You sort of get into the mobile net, you get into the public Wi-Fi for this area of town, and you just sort of backdoor into his phone and hit a trace. So now you can, you know, have eyes on him when, whenever you need it. I'm assuming you let this guy sort of go off and do his own business. So yeah, can... um, I mean, if he's, uh, uh, I would, I would, uh, you know, let him start walking off, uh, mm -hmm. and I would, I would keep tabs on him until I heard, you know, over the earpiece, okay, I've got his, I've got him pinged or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I'd be like, okay, um, and then. All right. I would, so, I would have brought up a tracker on screen and just a little like mm -hmm. a GPS tracker to find out exactly where he is and where he's going mm -hmm. at all times. Keep that up on one of the all other right. thousand monitors I have back there. <laughs> all right. Well, since you now have that set up, uh, where do you guys want to go next with this uh, investigation of yours? I'm letting you guys take the reins on where you want to go next. I I feel that we should at least uh, at least one of us should go into the coffee shop and get any information mm -hmm. uh so i would relay that to uh cryptic uh, uh i'm gonna take a quick trip into the uh coffee shop uh can i get you anything uh no you brought me coffee earlier if they have a donut i'll take a donut but uh while you're in there check for uh any cams that maybe i can uh, hack into or see if i can find anything okay i will do yeah. that and so I, I walk across the street and into the coffee shop and just take a quick look around, see if uh, anyone um, piques my curiosity. Mm -hmm. Okay. From what you can tell, there's not many people in there. It's like a, it's a Sunday afternoon. People are either at church or probably uh, doing whatever it is you also do on a Sunday. I have no idea. I'm an indoors person. Yeah. Probably doing like various religious activities, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, Yard sailing. From what you garage sailing, shit like that. Yeah. From what you can tell from just like a cursory look around, the barista, he's got his uh, he's got his man bun all done up beanie over top of it he's got those glasses that lo don't look like they need prescription but he wears them anyway so i would walk up to him and i'd go mm -hmm. um excuse me and i would show him the image as mm -hmm. well of this young woman um have, have you seen my little sister we haven't seen her in a few days and we're, we're really worried about her mm -hmm. well um uh, i've seen I think I've seen her once or twice in here. She doesn't come around all that often. She has a bunch of friends. They're fairly, uh... Honestly, she sort of sticks out from this group. She's, uh... They seem to be very, um... They have a lot of, uh... Pale makeups and... Uh... Dark clothes. The... What you would normally associate with a group of emo teenagers, you know? Indeed, I do. I... Yeah. Sadly used to be one of those. Yeah. We all had our phases. Anyway. Right. From what I could tell, they seem to be very weird about their little club thing that they had going on. They would come in here asking to use the back table for some sort of initiation. May I, may I see this back table? It's... Oh, it's it's just a back table of the coffee oh, shop. There's I, nothing I, real I, special it, about it. Like a back table, back table, or a back table. It was just sort of like he, he, they would just ask to have the uh, the very back table of the coffee shop reserved. Basically, the 
the table furthest away from the door. Yeah. Okay, so I ask him, or I, I'll order some uh, coffee and a, f a few donuts. Thank and uh, I'll, is that back table still uh, open? I mean, it's always reserved for them, but feel free to have a look around. Okay, Perhaps you'll you. find something. I don't know. They they always came by with this one of my regulars. Uh, went by the name Victor. Victor? She was all right. Or he. she. They, I could barely tell they were dressed. He, she, what? I don't rem I'm not good with faces. Face blindness is not the best. Yes, it's most fine, most fine. One second, I got into my phone. Probably just pulling some stunt. You know how younger siblings can be. And I go over to the table and I'll do a quick look around to see if I can, you know, see if there was maybe a, a note or something stuck to the underside of the table under the, are, are they chairs or are they like benches? I think he said he had to answer his phone real quick. Oh. To give him a few seconds, so you might then might need to repeat that last sentence. Um, do you have any little devices that make it easier for you to hack an area? Uh, I don't know that. I'd answer my phone. That's all right. Anyway, anyway, he sort of gives you an information on this Victor type. He can't, he can't really give you faces, because he mentioned he's got some face blindness issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he give, gives you a name and what he thinks they might have been wearing at the time. When was yeah. the last time she was here? Maybe a week, two weeks ago, I don't know. Okay. Last time that group when it came in, the she wasn't around, so they just sort of did their thing and then left. And last I saw of them, she stopped coming around a couple of weeks ago. That's as much as I know. Whatever you need, feel free to come by and ask for the questions. So I would, uh, I I would uh, head over to the table and take a quick look around, see if mm -hmm. maybe there were any notes stuck to the underside of the table. Um, mm -hmm. Were there any, uh, are the chairs chairs or are they benches or booth type seats? Uh, the back table is more of a booth type setup. Um, I would do, a, th I would do a, a quick thorough wipe around to see if there was any notes that may mm -hmm. have been stuffed into the seat, under the booth, mm -hmm. under the table, between the wall and the booth. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to see if maybe, you know, somebody was, if they were there and sent, tried to leave a uh, um, a note saying, help us, help us. Oh, mm -hmm. God, help us. We're going to die. Help us, help us. <laughs> All right. Well, um, give me an investigate role. Okay. I'm also, um, I'm also looking to see if he has any cameras in there as well. I'll include that in your investigate role. Motherfucker. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not I mean, a complete fail. It's it's just a fail. I mean, you find some chewed gum. You find uh, some not uh, gum. It. You find some wrappers. Uh, you don't find much. This guy doesn't really have an elaborate setup. He seems to be like just starting out with this with this business. So he doesn't really have good security either. He's got a, it's more or less a bell on the door set up. But he has no camera or anything like that. I mean, he's got a shutter, but that's about it. A shutter? Uh, there's this, on the outside of the store, there's this um, metal thing that comes down to like close up the shop in case someone so no were to try and break in. He doesn't really have any cameras. Also, keep in mind, Leon, you have some special abilities that can help you with your sight. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. Except what am I going to look at? Maybe through his eyes? See what he sees right now? I mean, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know that you're doing that. 
Mm -hmm. Then I could I'd probably do that. All right. So you can use your sight beyond sight. Yes, my lion ability. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can mark that off on your roll and uh, do an investigate for me. Because you could definitely or anything like that, or just normal. Uh, just that plus your uh, uh, sight beyond sight. That'll be it. Okay. Get an eight. Get a mild success. So I'm imagining what you're doing is like taking the closest like camera and like you're projecting your sight through the camera and then into his eyes. So now you've got visual of the inside of the uh, uh, of the uh, cafe. Yes, and I'm sure my associate would definitely have a camera on the front and back of their person somewhere. <clears throat> so I could always use that in case I needed to. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. From what you could tell, this is a fairly basic cafe setup. It's a couple of booths, a couple of just tables and chairs. It doesn't have the most elaborate coffee setup. But from what you could tell, he makes do with what he has. He's got a fairly... Uh, extensive set of beans and uh, Could creamers. Could you make a lap of crappuccino? Frapp a lap of crap of bullshit chino? I mean, from what you could tell from his uh, menu setup, it's, it's definitely like your basic white girl sort of uh, menu. Pumpkin spice everything. It is December. Yep, plenty of pumpkin spice. I gr I thank him for his uh, his time, and I take my cup of coffee and my couple of donuts, and I walk mm -hmm. back out across the street, mm -hmm. uh, making sure no one is really keeping an eye on me, and they're minding their own business, and I hop into the driver's side of the van, mm -hmm. and and for a little while I keep an eye out as I nonchalantly slide the donuts or most of the donuts into the back and munch mm -hmm. on a donut and sip a coffee to see if anyone's uh, showing any interest. All right. At this point, you get the you get the idea. If you're doing any sort of looking out or actually investigating, you're going to want to give me a roll. Uh... Would have added my stealth to it, so I think it would have been those two. Hmm. Let's see here. A ten. You're able to do everything you need to do. Slide on the donuts. From what you can tell, nobody's really paying y'all much mind. They're like. This woman just walked into a delivery van for pizzas. Whatever. And it's your, like... I'm, I'm picturing this van as, like, a typical, like... Uh, like, FBI sort of van look, side, look looking thing. I don't typically know the make and model of what, what I'm it's trying to... It's a Rand Ford POS. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they see, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, is there anything you guys want to take care of in this area, or are you going to want to head off to the other lead, the other potential lead you have, which is the high school? What's uh, Stanislaw doing right now? Still pacing? He's sort of gone off and done his own thing. He's sort of heading off into a different side of town near the docks. He's heading in that general direction. that information on uh, Calistria and uh, say, uh, well, want to follow him or think we should head somewhere else? <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I hate school-age students. It's a Sunday. Oh, well. Wait, does he <laughs> say that? My character doesn't pay attention to the days much anymore. You know, when you're undead, Apparently. you kind of just, you just kind of, oh, sun's up, okay. 
Hmm. Just kind of stumble your way through. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 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 sorry, terrible yeah. one-liner. Yeah. <laughs> I will give you a plus one to your next roll because you are <laughs> acting in <Nice>. character. <laughs> All right. Well, as as I feel as I feel it as I I how I feel is as I've essentially marked this individual as mm -hmm. a a person um, of great interest per my mm -hmm. mystery identity. Once I mark a target, there's no turning back. Mm -hmm. uh, I would turn to I would say over my shoulder, you know, I really think we should. Uh, keep tabs on that individual uh, heading to the dock. If you feel, however, that we should go to the school, uh, are you going to be able to track him from however far away that is? I could easily link all my uh, systems through the uh, satellites. I should be able to track him anywhere he goes. Unless he goes in some kind of dead zone. Hmm. Okay, uh, right then. Um, but still might not be a bad idea to follow him. Hearing, do you say that? Oh, yeah. Hearing you say that, uh, I fire up the van, and we. I start uh, waiting for, I go, uh, give me directions. Mm -hmm. And I'll start uh, driving us. All right. At a, at a leisurely pace. I don't want to catch up to him and blow past him i i want him to get to where he is maybe a few seconds before we do so we're gonna do our sort of tailing scene in this uh generic yep. action movie oh absolutely yep. yeah Sitting so back, definitely a few car lengths yeah back and so I'm, side. I'm imagining what we're seeing here as the intense noir music plays in we sort of go to we're sort of cutting between like the look on Callie's. We're sort of cutting between the look on Callie's face as she's driving, keeping tabs on him, and you're in the back on this. I'm we're assuming, not, you're, I, I'm assuming would, you're not on like a rolling chair, right? Uh, probably not. Okay, because be like, because I'd be like, that's the stupidest idea if you're going to be in a van while in movement. <laughs> It would be Locking like attached to the floor, and I could slide it around in some kind of slot since, you know, I've got all the tech. Okay. So I could just hit something with my foot, and it'll lock a chair in place so when the car's, when the vehicle's moving, I won't move mm -hmm. much. Yeah, you're keeping tabs on his phone and all of these details. As, for, like... as long as he's got him on, on, on the phone, I wouldn't even bother keeping him specifically in sight. Mm -hmm. It would be, I'm driving the speed limit, obeying all normal traffic laws. And well, you can tell he's driving like this really like this is like black SUV like mysterious like license plates that are covered. He's like this is like he's got some like Russian thugs with like these like differently colored track suits and chains. This is like he's about as clearly Russian antagonist as you can probably get with someone. He's like as mob boss as you can possibly picture as we're like doing this tracking shot as we're following this black SUV with this not so unassuming van a couple car lengths back, cutting occasionally between Callie and Leon's perspectives, him on his uh, surveillance equipment and you driving. So this whole time I'm tracking him, I'm still probably typing into search different mm -hmm. security cameras that where she would have might have uh, been seen last mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Give me just a random investigate roll. You can use <clears throat> plus one. Yeah, just, you can use your plus one from that terrible one liner that you did. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna need uh, Callie to give me a. Give me a sneak around check because you're tailing them. All right, that would be that. Be that. As um, we're doing this 
tailing Didn't, scene. Okay, so I know I would get the stealth and the tracking because mm -hmm. we're tracking this individual. Mm -hmm. Would I get the bonus for a tracking device as he's got him tracking device through his phone? I will give you a plus one for that. Okay. Uh, and it's an investigate? Or no, sneak around. Sneak around because you're actively trying to stay out of sight and Okay, you've managed to keep this Anthony's Pizza Van out of sight. Like a boss. Trying to drive as, you know, casually as possible without arousing too much suspicion. Anyway, uh, Leon, what you can gather is that she's been seen around town a couple of times. She doesn't really go out very often. Besides, like, the once-a-week thing that she does with these, like, emo friends and that she obviously sticks out apart from. Would it be possible for my tech-savvy skills to be able to hack into her phone and see if I can pinpoint a GPS on her? See if you can just find a phone connected to this person? Yes. Hmm. Oh, you also can get through your cameras. You're a little bit behind them, like in terms of cameras to the black SUV, but you can get some line of sight on a couple of the goons, if that's something that's an option for you. A couple of the goons that are near her? Uh, in the black SUV that you're tailing right now. Oh, I was so, talking about while he's uh, while we're tracking him. I want to uh, hmm. hack into uh, the girl that we're looking for her phone, see if she's got her phone near her, or if maybe we can mm -hmm. find a possible location where her phone is. All right. Yeah, like if we could triangulate it to a exactly. fixed location, maybe All possibly right. find where her phone was dumped if she was kidnapped, or if her phone, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. I'm gonna need you to make take a risk. And whatever you think will help you accomplish this goal. Get into any system and mm -hmm. all the tech. Okay. I don't remember. Did I give you guys access to this sheet? All right. Just making sure I had that taken care of. Anyway. Ah, fuck me. What'd you get? A nine. Okay. Um, from what you can tell, whatever happened to her phone, it's not coming up. Either it was, uh, either it was tossed in a lake. You, it could have been crushed, smashed. You're able to get some logs from her phone. Some various phone calls she made to her mother and to a couple uh, friends at her chess club, and this other thing that she's a part of. You do pull the name Victor a couple times from her phone. I would relay that information. Okay. Name Victor's popped up a couple times. Checking through her yeah. system. I'm, and I'm assuming he heard the guy inside talk about the guy Victor. Um, yeah, you, you probably did relay that information. And well, I, if I not, would have known. Like mm -hmm. I said, I got cameras on him, so I'm listening to everything he hears. Mm -hmm. Or, excuse me, she hears. He or she, he doesn't really, he can't tell phases. Yeah, it's dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were <laughs> able to pull the phone logs off of going through the mother's phone and, you know, a accessing the company. So you were able to get something. I ask, were you able to get any phone numbers off of her phone? Would I have? You got some names. You got a couple numbers, but you don't know if they're currently in service or not. Besides the fact that there's the mothers and a couple friends at the chess club. And this Victor. Anyone tied to a Victor? I mean, you're pulling Victor from a few texts. 
but you do have a number associated with it, but it does seem to be uh, inconsistent. All right, so... So keep that Victor as a possibility, but possibly not from what you get to focus. Yeah, from what you can tell, it seems to be a different number for each text. Ah, uh, using burners. I'm suddenly not liking this Victor fellow. Me both. How do you guys want to proceed this? You're tailing this black SUV with the most Russian thugs that you've ever seen that could be Russian thugs? Oh, they're Russian thugs, definitely. <laughs> no, man, they're motherfucking Ukrainians. Nobody saw that movie? Yeah, I know which movie you're talking about. I don't know. Okay. I know which one you're talking about. I just... It was a, uh, it was uh, the Italian job. He's like, listen, oh, bro. Of course, I've seen that one. It was. I was always told, man, you don't fuck with three things. You don't fuck with Mother Nature. You don't fuck with mother-in-laws, and you don't mess with the motherfucking Ukrainians. Of course, I would be. I would know that. Hence the uh, the picture for Leon, and the reference picture because that was Seth Green mm -hmm. in the Italian job. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we completely forgot that uh, Leon looks like Discount Seth Green. <laughs> Discount Seth Green. All right. Do you guys want to keep tailing these guys, or do you want to follow up like some other th different lead? Are they forms? still heading in the general area of where they they were going, or are they changing direction? Mm -hmm. They seem to be just going in a general direction they've, they've turned a couple of times i'm gonna make a i would um right here. at the next light i would turn um and and break off from them as long as he is keeping them uh okay okay as uh as mm -hmm. as um he has them tracked Mm -hmm. by a phone and I just would at that light would just be like okay <whistles> you know make the left or make a right or mm -hmm. whatever and uh keep driving and go well you guys we are keep... sort of you guys are sort of going down an empty street I guess the traffic's starting to break up a bit so you're starting to lose a bit of cover and then you see this SUV ducking a wide alley and uh, just keep going okay. like from from his usual pattern of driving from what joe from what leon can figure out this is like a quick break for some reason maybe use uh, my sight beyond sight to look through uh stanislaw see what he sees what they're doing Oh, right, because you have access to his phone, too, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. And you can, you know, turn on that camera and get some sight. All right. I'm going to need you to uh, roll and take a risk. Well, plus one, because of your sight beyond sight. No other bonuses through I can get to into any system or anything like that, or... I'll, gi I'll give you a plus one for the for the getting to any system because you're doing something a bit out of your realm of going through a camera phone and then okay, into some take a risk. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit of a messy job. You kind of you you turn on the camera phone. You go from a reflection in his mirror and then into his eyes and from what you can tell he's going down this alley and he's like turning trying to like do something he's got a he's sort of mumbling some stuff in russian i 
I have no idea if you know any languages close to that, but he's saying some stuff you can't really understand. His buddies in the back are like, they're kind of nervous. You can tell that they've got some serious firepower because he's like looking back and like taking a look at what they have, taking taking a bit of quick inventory. I would obviously be running any uh, dialogue that I hear through... Uh recording software through his phone into some mm -hmm. kind of uh, instant translator and through the tech stuff. Probably. Google Translator. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll, I'll give you frag... From what you can tell, you're getting fragments. Uh, it sounds like there might be more to that. To, you're getting... There might be more to that and then static. You're also getting like... Uh, uh, better be ready for something. Can't let, let this deal go bad, sort of thing. You're getting fragments of what sounds like he's got something going on near the docks, but you've also got fragments of they might be suspicious of this pizza van. That would have turned off at some point and not have continued following them. You essentially went different ways. He quickly like ducked into an alley with his SUV, and you guys did a different turn, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But Leon was able to get some sight on him because of his ability and the uh, hack he did earlier. How do you guys want to proceed with this? I would just relay the information that there's a possible deal going on, and he's acting a little sketchy, they're a little nervous, and they definitely know that we were following them in some form. Mm -hmm. well, they know of a van following them, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, are there any decent uh, vantage points where a person with a rifle would be able to set up to monitor mm -hmm. a potential deal going down where they're going to? Going to? Um, I'm trying to think what you would. Are you trying to go from prior knowledge of this area? Yeah. All right. Give me a change to game roll. No modifiers. Because you're going strictly off of like prior knowledge of living in this area. Woo! Not bad. Uh, from what you can tell, there might be some places, some not too good, others definitely not good. You. Uh, I'm also going to give you a one juice that you can use to uh, add to a roll for any given thing. Okay, what do I? Where do I put juice? Just mark that somewhere in like your notes or anything. That's essentially just a free plus one for a uh, it for free uh, basically a free plus one for whenever you want to use it. Yeah, it mainly affects status effects. Anyway, I'm assuming you guys are heading towards the docks. We're trying to like get a vantage point on this whole situation. Yep. Yeah. So we're sort of continuing this tracking shot of your van as it sort of, as it, as we sort of fade into what looks like a like the like a Google Maps setup where we've got a blue dot which is uh, Stanislaw heading towards the docks and you guys trailing a little bit behind as a red dot. I don't know that we would follow behind them. Yeah, you know I mean, like different areas of a map you guys are going, but then you see this red dot on a map just trying to like get near the area. Yeah, taking alternative routes. Yeah. Then we fade into what looks like a um like they're looks like they're pulling up to a, a dock and you guys are sort of parked a couple blocks down and around a corner. 
how do you guys want to proceed with this? I would hack into any security cameras around the uh, general area near them so I can try and get a good uh, good view mm -hmm. of anything. Give me take a risk and any power powers that you want to use for that. Uh, anything that you wish to be doing at this time, Kelly? And say what? Is there anything that you wish to be doing at this time, Kelly, while he's uh, trying to hack into any systems? Um, to be investigate. Uh, take a risk. Okay. Because you're not familiar with this area of town very well. Okay. Somehow you've managed to find some like exposed uh, like hotspot that one of these like gang members is using and you like go through that and get to like you, you don't get a good view but you're able to access a couple cameras around the area. So I can get a general idea of what's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kelly, is there anything you're doing? I am going to stealthily mm -hmm. um, that, uh... I mean, if you're going to be doing something stealthy, you're going to give me a sneak roll. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah. Assuming we're parked, I would have uh, geared up. I would have mm -hmm. grabbed my my weapon, the rest of my weaponry from mm -hmm. beneath or from the little hidey cubbies, and yeah, I would, gonna, uh, we're gonna go through a gear up scene where you take all your weapons from the van and strap them to yourself, sort of thing. I would. Um, Um, did they all go inside of a building that we could we could see? Did or fr from, from the, what, the, the from tracking? what Leon can, from what Leon can see, he's a uh, he's exiting out onto like this open dock area. They're carrying some serious firepower. You're seeing assault rifles. One guy's got this. Uh, they're carrying some military grade hardware, sort of thing. One guy yeah. pulls out of the trunk of a van. What looks to be like a giant uh, pelican case. Very uh. Rectangular. Looks to be about like six inches tall and like a couple inches uh, wide. Um, can you describe like how, because like I don't know what Ion 9 is. I don't know if it's like a silent thump weapon or if it's a kablam weapon. Um, all I know is, is that my weaponry and tech require my ion 9 to function and do what they need to do so i'm assuming it's shooting an energy beam but of some sort or a ray beam of some sort um, you're, you're essentially you essentially have what is like a small improvised like what will happen is when you fire a bullet will go down the barrel uh, a magnetic field or along the barrel will then cause it to propel faster and out. You I've won't get much sound. Jaws rifle. It's improvised, which means you have a chance of it blowing up. This is this is some uh this is some experimental hardware you have. Made by me, I'm sure. Yeah. This is okay. exp this is experimental in that this is the only prototype and the only one that works. Okay. Um, I'd say just make sure if you're going to use that, you've got one chance. You've got one shot. Do not miss your chance. No, it's the assault rifle. I know, but I was referring to a Eminem song. Okay, never mind. I'm a well aware. Of terrible one liner. <laughs> <laughs> and it was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. I feel you should deduct him points on his next one. <laughs> Really, come on! It, it's literally my 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 part. My I have to do it. 
I know. It's my character, damn it. You, you won't get you, any positives watch, or negatives. You you watch something <laughs> as one of the right one of the editors stops. editing this movie probably face palmed. One of the uh one of the editors for this movie probably face palmed in the uh, the uh, editing room. The director was reading yeah. it, they read that line like really God damn it. Fuck it, leave it in. <laughs> Callistria yeah. just looks over her shoulder at you, rolls her eyes, and goes, Whatever. I swear, mm. people think I'm weird because I'm not technically alive, and you're weirder for your your, your one-liners. They are just horrible. I'm assuming, beyond in case shit goes down, you're going to ready your Dane shotgun? Oh, it's always ready to go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you may. Hey, you know Fifty Cent. This is my co- co- his cousin. Two dollars. All right. So you're posting up on a nearby building. Give me sneak roll so you don't get noticed. Because you're in an empty part of town on a Sunday afternoon. All right, all right. You're not quiet, but you don't get seen. Nobody seems to be paying you much attention as you post up and get yourself ready. As you, like, put your rifle on the edge of the building roof and, you know, start taking a look at what's... Had going on that, yeah, down by the docks. I'm, I'm looking through the. I mean, I'm assuming it's just like a one or two story building or something that I'm yeah. on. You're on like you're on the top of like some like uh, convenience store sort of thing. Yeah, I'm just looking through my uh, my my uh, scope, uh, zooming in, seeing what the fuck's going on, see if I see anybody. From what you can tell, this dock is heavily armed for what he. What which could be a simple I'm, feel. Which is why I'm looking things over and seeing mm-hmm. if we even see the people we're supposed to be trying to find. And if not, then if I don't see anything that uh, triggers a reaction of, oh, those are the people we're supposed to be finding. We should probably fucking save them. I'm doing nothing more than watching for the moment. Mm-hmm. From what you can tell, you see Stanislaw talking to various goons. They're all armed with uh, uh, submachine guns, assault rifles, heavy assault rifles. A couple of them have these uh, large pelican cases with them. He himself has this area near the... From what you can tell with your scope, he's got this area in his... uh, Where his office should be, and it's... uh, He's got some serious firepower hidden in there. Okay. This um, is not your average uh, Russian goon. When is it ever just a average Russian goon? Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, if I don't, if I, I, I watch mm-hmm. him and I relay back what I'm seeing to him, uh, I'll angle the camera mm-hmm. uh, that I have so that he can see as well. Th- um, mm-hmm. And I'll, if he asks me to, I'll move the camera in front of the scope so he can get a zoomed-in view of what's going on if he needs it. All right, since you're doing that, I'm going to... Are you saying I wouldn't have video patched into his scope already? Yeah, you have... <laughs> you're, you're seeing everything that she's seeing. Oh, yeah. And well, it's... Uh... I'm assuming you're starting to put two and two together. You're seeing pelican cases, assault rifles, submachine guns, crowbars. Oh yeah, some serious shit's about to go down. Yeah. In the dis in the distance, because it's quiet, like dock area, and nobody's really doing any work. You hear this uh, horn go off in the distance. It's a fair ways away, but you can hear it. So this is a barge that's coming in. Okay. You're seeing people look around. Uh, not many people are paying y'all that much attention. 
what you can tell, um, Callie, you seem to be going fairly unnoticed, sitting on top of a convenience store with a red roof. I am prone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're surprised that you managed to go unnoticed where you are. Um, Is there anything you'd like to do in this situation? I ask uh, over my headset, I go, um, question, what's the range on this uh, prototype uh, ga gauze rifle that you have made? And I would probably answer. Okay. Sure. With that, do I think that I could pop that big Russian motherfucker from here? You might be able to. Because he's in his side of his office, you're going to have a bit of issue with aiming through blinds, but you can give it a shot. Pun intended. Mm -hmm. ah, took my line. I mean, it's not going to be the most silent thing in the, in the world because of the way it's set up. As soon as you take that shot, they're going to know where you're at, though. Yeah, and it would be a, we would have to GTFO or whatever. Mm -hmm. Does he is he moving around inside the office or? He seems to be doing paperwork. Boring fucking paperwork. You've got a shot if you want to take it. I ask, uh, I'll ask, uh, Leon, I'll go, uh, okay, I've, I've got a fairly decent shot on this big Russian fucker, uh, should I go ahead and pop this fucker, or should we wait out and see what happens? Wait it out and see what happens. We cause attention to, uh, bring our attention to ourselves now, before we find out what's going down, then we lose any possibility of if they're transporting mm -hmm. the kids or if this is even related to that. Mm -hmm. I would say Ten hold four. off for a little bit longer. 10-4. Only and take the shot I, in case you need to. I would like, mm -hmm. okay, with that said, I would like to position myself um, maybe somewhere with a little more cover that would still allow me to see what's going on. Okay. Um, Give me a sneak around roll. Okay. You manage to go from building to building, climbing up fire escapes and getting up to a higher vantage point. At this point, you're sort of on like a three, four story apartment building. Got a bit more. You're, you have eyesight of the docks. You're a little bit further than you might like, but with your skills, you can make it work. Okay. A few hours pass, uh, you guys eventually uh, see the, uh, the barge come in and dock. It drops off this uh, uh, shipping container, locked, of course. And you can definitely tell that something might be starting to go down i uh i i tr mm -hmm. i keep an eye on i do a quick look around see who's moving towards that mm -hmm. uh case or uh shipping container mm -hmm. uh if if it looks like someone's opening it i'll pan over real quick to uh take a look see if i can't catch a peek of what's inside mm -hmm. Uh, they don't seem to be touching it. It just seems to continue being locked and docked uh, near them. Uh, you've... One of the thugs you see starts acting weird. He's sort of starting to like get twitchy and uh, uh, start doing a little convulsing. He sort of lurches his head forward. And then he sort of 
stand straight back up again. Give me an investigate roll. Usually you just hear the soft, the fuck is going on with this shit? Add a minus one to that, because you have no idea what the fuck's going on with him. I would like, yeah, uh, so yeah. <laughs> you have no idea what the fuck's going on with him? He may just be having a bad reaction to the food. I I I keep uh, a cl- an eye on him, mm-hmm. uh, just because I don't know what the fuck that was, but I don't like it. Can I insert a terrible pun? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's your dialogue. Go ahead, do it, do it. Say maybe your his coffee is not agreeing with him. He might have to be rushing to the bathroom. <laughs> oh god! That actually pulls a small, a soft chuckle from. Uh, <laughs> you actually hear a brief. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. I have to. I, I have to. Did you do see a slight change in eye color. And then you see him start walking over to the office of Stanislaw. And they seem to exchange a few words. You see, you see Stanislaw give a nod of recognition. Like some, like some sort of mutual respect between those two. Then you see him sort of start convulsing and uh, lurching forward and back again. I shoot and him in he's... the fucking brain pan. No, I don't. I don't. I, I, yeah, I don't do that. I, I strongly consider it. But I'm like, a now. I mean, given you got, given your guys' background, you've seen some weird shit before. But this is up there. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling him, I'm Somebody's really studying. Looking through his eyes or trying to uh, control him or something. And then when he stops moving, he stands up straight. Tells his boss they exchange a few words. And then he falls back. Doesn't get back up. Still holding his gun. He just sort of fell back. You see Stanislaw kneel down towards him, grab his gun. He opens the door a bit. You hear some Russian commands, and then he, uh, then two guys come in, start dragging the body over near the docks with a bag over one of over one of the guy's shoulders. Two bags, in fact, one heavier than the other. I say, I do believe our weird convulsing friend is dead. Looks that way. All right, how do you guys want to proceed with this? Still no movement towards the uh, case? Uh, The container has been untouched for the most part. I go, uh, maybe you... uh, you you do you still have did you get that drone working? Which one? <laughs> Your surveillance drone. Oh yeah, that one's working. Mm-hmm. Maybe go in for a uh flybys, uh where we might be able to see from a better angle. Yeah, give me a second. I want to see if I can uh, attach an x-ray to the uh, camera. Okay. All right. So I can x-ray into that container, if possible. Well, as long as it's working on me, tinkering on it. All right. Give me a... You're going to get a plus one for your mobile workstation. And your work... Be- yeah. Your workbench for tinkering. Uh, you're also going to get a plus one for your alt attack. And you're also going to get... That, nope, that's about it. A, a roll to change the game. 
I'm afraid yeah. to look. It's a ten. Okay. Ta da! Right. You attach. There's some duct tape involved, but you you wire some stuff up to this camera that's attached to your drone and do some fiddling, and you get a rudimentary X-ray thing working. You don't know how long it's gonna last, but it should get you what you need. At least long enough for a flyover to scan it. Oh yeah. Uh, X-ray, heat signature, all in one. You know, I'll pop it out the back of the van, fire it up, control from inside. All right. It's a lot. Mine, mine are a lot more quiet than that. Okay. Otherwise, I would have made you roll a minus one to sneak around. All right. No, no soft whir. Well, there's, there's a very faint whir, but nothing that would give you away. Until it's within like thirty feet of you is when you would kind of notice, like, the fuck is that sound? Yeah. So you're sort of going up above. Using this camera, you've got to oh, yeah. take a look Rock at the... 40, 50, maybe even 60 feet above. All right. Just kind of flying it in. Mm -hmm. Try and get eyes on that container, see if I can see what's inside it. All if right. possible. The heat signatures or anything like that. Possibly people mm -hmm. inside, or if the mm -hmm. there's no people, then maybe just x-ray, see if we can see if some guns or weapons or drugs or mm -hmm. whatever the hell they're working on. All right. You get... Some small, you get some type of signatures, but they're not human shaped. They're more uh, uh, rounded, um, large ovals, large. Uh, you, you get a very large signature from the inside of the uh, container. It looks slightly oval with like a square on the end of it. And it seems to be kind of hot. He's got a Humpty Dumpty in there. A what? <laughs> Oval looks like an egg. Okay. It okay. looks like an egg with a square attached to the end of it. <laughs> terrible joke. It, terrible joke. Yeah. And he'll, he, he definitely gets a, you definitely get a very, it's, it's, it's noticeable, but it doesn't, like, it's warm, but it's not, like, giving off extreme amounts of freaking heat right now. I would uh, relay the message. There's something inside that's putting off some kind of heat. Doesn't quite yeah. look uh, humanoid, but, uh, yeah, I'm not quite now sure you're getting, what it is. Now that you're getting a closer look at it, you see two... Companies branded on the side of the uh, container. You see a Global Genetics Computers and a Helix Labs. Global Genetics and Helix Labs. What do I know about those companies? Give me an investigate. I'll just uh, like punch it into the computer and do a quick search. Give me a... You can add Nosey Guy to this. And that's probably about it for you. That's an investigator, right? Yeah. Nine. Uh, Global Genetics Computers is very... Um, they deal, obviously, in genetics, but also in very high-end supercomputers. Um, Helix Labs has been abandoned for quite some time. And they haven't been oper in operation in several years. You do get a um, a list of some employees. Um, one name that probably sticks out is a Victor, and directly under that is a Veronica. But other than that, you. Um, don't get very much else. Global Genetics is still in business. What you can tell, it's like someone plastered Global Genetics on top of this Helix Labs, but did a shoddy job at it. 
Like they tried to rebrand the uh, container to save cost. Once again, I'd relay all that information over to my partner. Mm -hmm. How do you guys want to keep? How do you, how do you guys want to go with this? <sighs> also, side note, Leon, from what you can tell, after the few minutes that you've, because you've done this all a couple seconds after that guy, most likely, probably, definitely died. He's been dragged off near the docks. And they're doing some work on him. Heck with some up. plastic. With some plastic bags, yeah, that sort of thing. Ah, they're gonna drown him, or they're gonna make him sleep with the fishes. Yeah. Also happens to conveniently be near some uh, uh, cinder blocks too. So you can definitely get a you can get a gist of what they're doing to that body. Oh, absolutely. It's probably a bunch down there. Let me know how you guys want to proceed with this. Hmm. One second, I got a cough. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> Stanislaw seems to be getting a little not worrisome. He's definitely a little on edge. Feel free to let me know how you guys want to proceed with this situation. It seems to be very tense around the docks. For he is out and about. He's out and about with his with his thugs. He's not touching the container. He's just sort of keeping watch with the rest of them. He's holding something. Uh, he's holding a rather small tube thing. From what you can tell, you can't really make out what it is from this distance because he's like constantly like within some sort of cover. It doesn't look it doesn't look good though. Possibly a remote. Maybe that thing is a bomb. Yeah. We're talking like a tube that's kind of long. They sort of have like maybe it has propped up like he's holding it up on one end with his hand and he's like holding it up with his uh, shoulder because he wants the other hand free in case he needs to give orders. I go, I kind of just want to shoot this guy in the head just because I don't like him, but I don't know that he is necessarily directly tied to our case. We might be in on something else entirely here and Quite frankly, I'm not sure we uh, we should get involved with this. Perhaps an anonymous tip with information to the local feds? Well, I can do that. Give me 30 seconds. All right. I start. I, I make my way back down to the mm -hmm. uh, to the vehicle. All right. A couple thirty, a couple of seconds go by. You're on the phone trying to give a tip. I'm assuming you've got, you know, the work's done to your voice. Oh, of course. Yeah. I sound like a, like a little, like a little old lady. Mm -hmm. There's some strange men down at the docks guarding some weird container. I think there's a bomb in there. He said what sounded like bomb in Russian a few times. Man on the line is kind of confused and is like, uh, sure, we'll follow up. And then he quickly hangs up. Relay the information, but you get the sense that they're not exactly going to listen to an old woman who sounds like she's making a crank call. But I'm going to use uh, my computer to uh, send through different IPs all across the general area, a bunch of emails to the police 
and a couple to the FBI <laughs> from different locations of different people saying there's some weird things going on down at the docks. I don't know what's going on, but they're dragging a body. There's this weird container down there. You know, just a whole bunch of different things. Probably like 15 to 20 different uh, IPs sending emails to the police and a couple to the uh, FBI probably. You're gonna sp- you're gonna spam the FBI with emails about this weird thing that's happening down there. A couple to the FBI, but definitely uh, a few people using their computers sending messages to en- the uh, police. Enough to arouse suspicion. Exactly. Okay, give me a change the game rule. Can I give him my juice to boost it? That's for status effects. Oh God damn it! I want to. I want to give him the juice to boost the check. All right. I'm gonna use my. I can get into any system with that because mm-hmm. I'm using the computer. All right. I'll give. Ten. Okay. You send some semi-convincing emails out. You don't know if they're gonna follow up, but you definitely gave them something. Probable cause. Yeah, gave them enough to, to, to like, maybe. I mean, it, it, it's something. You say, watch. They're gonna say one car, one, maybe mm-hmm. two people in it. Mm-hmm. Fucking lazy cops. A uh, couple, an hour or two goes by. Simple. You see, um. He's got his sort of lights on. He's coming by. You see one of the thugs, like near the gate, sort of like looks out, quickly re- looks down. And he's like, uh, and they all he relays him, sort of has his hand up, and sort of like waves it in a circle, and says a, one or two words in Russian. And with a remarkable efficiency, you see these uh, thugs, like, don some fucking, like, hats and jackets and, like, manage to hide everything. Like, you you reckon they've done this before, and, they, like, they just, like, it becomes what looks like a late night at the docks with a couple of guys doing some work. Like, they've managed to cover this up pretty well. Bastards. Two I, cars shoot pull up. One of those, I shoot the fucking cunt in the face. <laughs> Just bang! And the guards near the cop? I don't know. What do you think? Should we shoot one of them just to sliven things up a bit? Well, mm-hmm. maybe uh, shoot something we'll near fall. the cop that the cop would see to uh, kind of possibly uh, jolt a reaction from the cop to maybe actually, you know, do his job and call more for backup. Keep in mind, that thing is not silent. Oh, of course not. But if they they would assume that they're taking shots at them. So mm-hmm. I'm going to aim at the cruiser. Mm-hmm. I'm going to... I'm assuming they're near the cruiser. You see a couple guys at the gate. You see Stanislaw is sort of donned like this dock worker's outfit. He's carrying this weird pelican case. It's a small pelican case, but he's carrying it near him. And he's like, yeah. Go ahead, take the shot. You're uh, trying to alert. You're trying to alert the. Um, yeah, the, uh, trying to alert the authorities that not all is as it seems. So uh, I, I take a, I, I, from around this corner, I take a quick shot at the uh, cruiser, mm-hmm. uh, to to blow out a light on their side or or put a hole in, uh, in, on their side that's farthest from us so that they would mm-hmm. assume that it came from the docks side of it. Mm-hmm. And I do a quick aim and f- fire. Okay. Okay, so I don't breathe. Which yeah, allows be a better shot. What you doing? Okay. My Discord cut out in there. What'd you say? Oh. Okay. So, so in the middle of this silent night, 
there's no music playing in the background of this action movie. And so Ooh. all you the only thing that cuts the silence is this loud bang. And we sort of track we do some like CGI effects and we track the bullet trail as it goes into one of the the left side the right side's tires of this car and he sort of stops moving in front of the uh in front of the uh in front of the gate of the docks Stanislaw immediately like fucking drops the pelican case and goes down towards it starts unclipping it okay I uh I, I take a bead. Now, what are the cops doing while this is going on? He's like, what the fuck happened to my car? He's like getting out, about to walk around the side of it toward the front. Okay, I... Stan- take... Stanislaus, lifted the, Stanislaus lifted the pelican case. He seems to be grabbing something. I he's wait about to, to get see, up. I wait to the moment to see what he pulls out to mm-hmm. decide whether to pull the trigger a second time. All right. He's getting up. He's got this uh, uh, that tube thing you saw earlier. He's got it uh, pointed up at Does the fucking cop car, and is about to. Uh, I uh, fucking take... shoot him. I just bang. As soon as I see him aim it towards the cop car, I fucking drill for his face. And I'm gonna hack into I'm... the power grid and start making all the lights randomly flicker all over the place. Maybe blow a couple out. All right, Kelly. Uh, I'm gonna need you to quickly roll. A uh, face danger to see who's gonna just did just did. 14. Great success. What you roll? A 14? 14. Okay. I fucking shoot him in the face. Just bang. All right. Let's see what he rolls to see if he gets his, his shot off first. Ooh. Okay. He manages to get it off, but not before he takes one to the to the forehead. So you see him fire it at the same time that it makes impact. So it's a little wobbly, but it hits the car. Thank God the officer <laughs> wasn't in it. Yeah, but he was in front of the car. Yeah, he's dead. Toward the gate. Oh, fuck. You see a body fly forward, slightly on fire. Holy shit! Oh, and, come on. He should get some sort of a, a, a thing to see if he, like, here's the second shot to kind of, like, duck out of the way. Well, he didn't say the cop was dead. He's just no, literally but... on fire. Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 the entire back of him is on fire because he was right next to the, his car when it... Yeah, you get the sense that if he lives, he's not they're going to be working again in that particular field. <laughs> He's going to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. As all of this fucking chaos is going down, Stanislaus falling back, hole in his forehead. I'll fire a, a second shot into his head just to make sure he stays down. All the, all the guards are suddenly like grabbing their shit and pulling it all out. You get the sense that he's sure now he's caught. Dead. A bullet in his head. He's he's done. Yeah. Well, it, is that specifically true? Being that I am literally undead. Well, I don't think you he's going to get up instantly. You don't know. I all you know, you could be like ahead. y'all and have abilities. I would go ahead and put a second shot right into his fucking head. All right. All right. Because my, my thing is, isn't so much one shot, one kill, it's double tap. All right. You Unless... put two into his forehead. And then you see his body sort of bubble and start looking like... it look, It's starting to look take on the shape of like boiling clay. And then it just pops. And there's no guts, there's no gore. It's like skin colored clay just exploded. You get the All sense right. that there's some you get the sense there's some weird shit going on now. 
I get the I get back in the driver's seat. I hand the rifle back. I'm like fucking stow that in the seat. We're getting the fuck out of here. Call in all sh- and I fucking start. I I don't peel out, but I start driving away. And uh, while I, y'all are exiting, you see that when all of this went down, everything was heavily obscured. The uh, there was a lot of mist, a lot of fog. And there's a couple of people walking their pets and going for strolls. And from what you can tell, nobody seems to be paying much attention to what's going on. I call in uh, shots fired. Uh, I would call, uh, unless, um, um, fuck. Um, you get the sense like previous encounters in this city. Like all things that aren't as they appear, they might not assume what happened. Hack into the police. <clears throat> hack into the police cruiser. Uh, have them send a message mm-hmm. to uh, the dispatch, saying uh, mm-hmm. like a text message or something real fast, saying "shots fired, please send back up immediately." Down. Yeah, officer yeah, exactly. down. As you guys make your getaway, driving as quickly as you can, but still. A Abiding by the speed limit. Not to arouse any suspicion. A couple hours pass. The police arrive at the scene. They start interviewing quote-unquote dock workers. And the, um, from what they can tell, uh, I'm assuming you're keeping an eye on the scanners, right? And the oh, walkies. Absolutely. I'm at this point, I'm sure that with all the fucking reports that came in about mm-hmm. the suspicious crate and all this shit, they would have been, and then the officer mm-hmm. down, every fucking cop in the area would have been down there, fucking yeah. locked, talked, ready to fucking blow somebody's fucking head off. Yeah. Searching oh, yeah. everything. They hear the words officer down, they don't take a couple hours, they take a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. A few seconds. A few well, seconds. From what, you, from what seconds. you can gather from the start of this investigation is, uh, he had a faulty engine, is what they're ruling. Uh, he's getting medical treatment, and they have what looks in the middle of a dock like a mannequin's head just got crushed by some sort of firearm. I assume maybe he, one of the guards was taking target practice, one of the security guards. As per usual in the City of Mist, do you get the sense that Anything weird, this city seems to obscure and mask as normal, mundane shit. Which par for the course in this city. One second, I need to clear my throat. I, I look at him and I go, why the fuck do we even bother with this city? Well, that just means our job's not done. We can <coughs> Indeed it is. Gotta go back, gotta find out what's in that container, gotta figure out what the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm actually gonna have to call it for now, gentlemen, I'm fucking... I think that's a good place for us to leave off for this session. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking kick-ass cliffhanger. Definitely what do you guys... Need to get more people into this. What do you guys think so far? It's interesting. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I don't want to make an official ruling just yet. I want to see how the game plays out a little more. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I am still definitely interested in continuing this game again at a later date and time. Maybe because I've hooked you guys now. And you guys want to finish. Yeah. Well, it's, at the very least, we want to see how the story ends. All right. Yeah. 